well, just a quick video, I guess you could call it a rant, you could say. But uh, just going over the fact that the Talmudic Jewish lobby, the Judeo-Satanists, as I, I like to refer to them sometimes, because Judaism is of the devil, plain and simple. It's a false religion. Their blasphemous Talmud pretty much uh, exposes the Satanism and occultism that is rife in Judaism. But essentially, the aside from having a consistent 2,000-year record of trying to censor and silence free speech, it's very hypocritical their stance regarding free speech, and free speech and free expression, because you see they'll cite it all day. They'll cite it all day when it, when it's something they agree with. Let's say like something like Muhammad cartoons uh, of their of the uh, blasphemous, idolatrous, false prophet of Islam, Muhammad. You know, they'll cite free speech when someone makes cartoons making fun of the false prophet of Islam. However, when it's something they don't agree with, then they will turn to full-on cancel culture of vultures, essentially, and call for censorship. See, it's hypocritical. See, it's, it's free speech, you know, because you'll see them cite it, but it's free speech for me, but not for thee, essentially. That's what it comes down to in the world of the, uh, the Atomotic Judeo-Satanist lobby. Because, you know, when something goes down, let's say like the New York Times publishes a cartoon uh, that is like basically perceived as anti-Semitic, or critical of Judaism, well then they want it censored. But if they were to publish a Muhammad cartoon, they would come down for it. And I'm not defending Islam by any sense of the word. I mean, I, I just earlier this video made fun of the false prophet of Islam. But the fact of the matter is that the hypocritical stance of the Talmudic Jewish Judeo-Satanist lobby regarding free speech is laid bare for all to see. It's only free speech when they agree with it. They'll cite free speech and they'll cite, you know, protections of free speech when it's something they agree with. But when, when it's something they don't agree with, they turn into full-on cancel culture essentially Nazi communists, which is not uh, which is not really breaking away from their 2,000 year tradition of trying to shut down free speech. The only only thing that has changed is their tactics. Instead of trying to murder those they don't agree with, it's now legal ways or protesting and all this other stuff. It's hypocritical, but hey, hypocrisy is rife within the world of the, of the uh, Judeo-Satanist lobby. Wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.